Sacramento home prices remain flat this week, but underneath that calm surface, a looming inventory surplus threatens to pull down prices as we head into the fall and winter. Welcome to the Sacramento Real Estate Roundup for September 19th, 2024, brought to you by Blueprint. Work with me and Blueprint to save thousands on agents fees. Why pay your agent two or 3% when you can get better home buyer representation for a low flat fee? Learn more at buywithblueprint.com. Now let's get into the numbers. And this week we have numbers that look great for home buyers. We're starting with mortgage rates. This graph shows the average rate on a 30 year fixed rate mortgage going back 12 months. As you can see, the lowest numbers are on the right side of the graph, which is the present. That's great news. The average mortgage rate bottomed out on September 11th at 6.11% and then grew slightly the next day to 6.15%. Now this awesome low rate is already factoring in the expected Fed rate cut later this month. So we're not going to see a big fall when the Fed actually does cut the Fed rate, but hopefully we are a little bit lower rate-wise by the end of the month. Now let's go to our local numbers. Right now we're looking at the latest weekly print from Redfin for the Sacramento metro area. As you can see, the median sale price of a home in Sacramento remained absolutely flat this week, holding on at $585,000. That's down from a high of $604,000 that we hit in July. Now we're looking at the new listing median price. This is the median price at which new listings are coming to market in Sacramento. This week we saw a $900 uptick to $593,350. That's down $19,000 from the peak in June. Now should the median price of new listings in Sacramento be holding steady? Well, taking a look at other metrics, we get the impression that maybe realtors should be lowering their list prices. Let's take a look. The number of new listings on the Sacramento market this week fell in both absolute and year-over-year -year growth numbers. Last week, we saw 573 new listings, which represented an 8.2% growth over the same week last year. And this week, we saw 557 new listings, which represented just a 2.6% growth over last year. And as you can see, the trend line for this year for new listings is about to merge into new listings from last year. Similar story in homes sold after a little spike about five weeks ago, the number of homes sold per week in Sacramento is beginning to trend down toward last year's numbers. This week, we sold 470 homes in the Sacramento market. Now this is the metric that makes my eyebrows shoot up. Call me, call me an exciting guy. Pending sales in Sacramento actually fell below last year's numbers. This week, we had 526 pending sales which is 3.3% fewer sales than this week last year. Now, pending sales is a leading indicator of homes sold because a home goes pending when the home goes into the escrow process and then becomes sold four to six weeks later when the escrow process is closed. So the fact that pending sales just fell south of last year's numbers means that in about a month, homes sold will fall south of last year's numbers. Keep that in mind as we look at active listings, which is slowly descending, but not by much. Currently, there are 5,164 homes on the Sacramento market at peak just a couple weeks ago. We were at 5,253. So we're not far off from peak listings for the year, and we're about to see homes sold begin to crater. Now, when homes sold begins to crater, it means fewer homes are exiting the market. Fewer homes exiting the market is going to put a lot of upward pressure on active listings. Active listings might not grow per se, but they'll certainly stop declining. Relative to other markets in California, Sacramento is entering a period of elevated inventory. And that might be a problem because weeks of supply, which balances supply against demand, shot up this week to a year high of 12.3 weeks. This is a higher level of supply than we saw this week in 2022 when prices were nosediving when we were at 11.6 weeks. It's interesting, in 2022, inventory was piling up because rates had doubled and buyers didn't want to buy homes anymore. This time around, rates are actually dropping, but the inventory in Sacramento is still beginning to pile up. So while rates brought down home prices in 2022, it looks like just sheer inventory is going to be dragging down home prices in 2024. And we see another indicator of this when we look at the average sale to list ratio for homes in Sacramento. The sale to list ratio is the ratio of the average sale price of a home to the average list price of a home within a market. And this line right here is labeled one, which is another way of saying 100%. When homes sell for more than 100% of the sale to list ratio, it means homes are selling for more than they're being listed at. When homes sell for less 
than 100% of the sale to list ratio, it means homes are selling for less than what they're being listed at. And what's interesting to me is comparing this year, 2024, the orange line to previous years and seeing when in the year they fall under the 100% line. 2021, this red line here was a gangbusters year and home sales never fell below a 100% sale to list ratio. 2023, last year was a pretty normal year and it took until the end of September for home prices to fall below the 100% sale to list ratio. Let me just label this for our satisfaction. 2022, the black line was the year in which home prices fell in half and we fell under the 100% sale to list price ratio in August, pretty early. But this year in Sacramento, we fell under the sale to list ratio for the first time back here in June. And if you ask me, I don't think we're going to go north of that line for the rest of the year. We'll probably continue to see this line dwindle off, as is usually the case, heading toward the end of the year. How far will home prices drop in Sacramento before the end of the year? We'll subscribe here and catch next week's Sacramento Real Estate Roundup as we continue to follow the story.